back to Channel 5 News at noon. I hope you're enjoying your lunch hour. Your time is 1225. This morning we started the day with a few clouds out there made for a beautiful sunrise. Now look at the view courtesy of Sky 5 here in Westlaco. It is shaping up to be a really pretty day out there. Beautiful in terms of how much sun is out there. But man, when you step out there, that hot and humid weather really takes hold of you really quick. We're at 95 degrees right now, but because there's not much of a wind around to kind of move around that hot air, it feels extra sticky. So you can almost cut the air. It's so thick with a knife. It's one of those type of days. Anywhere between 101 to 111 is what it feels like out there. So 102 seems to be the popular number from McAllen, Wessico, and Harlingen, as well as Raymondville. So yeah, very, very hot weather for the remainder of the day, too. Right now, the first one five Doppler network not showing Showing too much activity. You see a lot of it over the open gulf, but we are seeing a few showers kind of pop up over the lower Rio Grande Valley near the coast. But as the day goes on, it does look like some of those showers could move a little bit farther inland, which I'll show you in a second. Here's what's left of that cold front. It's still to the north. Now it is pushing a little of that moisture down here into the valley. So, and we're getting increasing moistures from kind of both ends type type of deal where we're seeing that increasing moisture, which will allow for a few showers, maybe even a thunderstorm or two. But it's really not going to be a whole lot of activity. That cold front is not going to make it here to the valley. So we do have a lot of dry air in place in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So did you? see that little bit of activity I was just talking about kind of fizzles out as it makes its way inland. So really not uh, too much rain expected all across the valley. Only 20% will actually get the rain. High temperatures though, boy, that's going to be valley wide. The heat that is 90 degrees out the coast to 100 in Wessico up to 103 degrees in the upper valley this afternoon. So very, very hot and humid day with only that small chance for rain and not much of a wind to blow things around. Now we are tracking increasing rain chances, but uh, the pathway for Tropical Storm Franklin has changed just a tad bit. So as we look at this system, you can see it. Um, this is from the Gozar satellite, the Go 16, and it's currently moving over the Yucatan, and it will eventually make its way back in, or make its way into the Bay of Campeche. As we look at the forecast track, you see that it is moving west-northwest at 13 miles per hour still tropical storm status. Now watch this as it moves over in the Bay of Campeche, it could strengthen a little bit. You see those wind speeds they are estimating it to be right around 60 miles per hour. It gets a little bit stronger. We could see a hurricane, but the thing is, regardless of where of what the strength is, it will impact the coast of Mexico early Thursday morning. So as it makes its way there, notice that the pathway yesterday that was kind of encompassing in Tampico a little bit has now shifted to the south. So those rain bands are still going to come close to the valley, increasing our moisture, but it just won't be as much as if the forecast was a little bit farther north. We've only adjusted the rain chances by a little bit. What it will do is cause rough surf. So for today, go ahead and enjoy it out there. There are no advisories. Seas will average two to three feet. In terms of the rain, that's where you're going to see a slight increase. Today and tomorrow, just an isolated shower or two. 40% of the valley will have a shower or thunderstorm by Thursday. So not everybody will get the rain, but there could be some heavy rain at times. And because of the cloud cover and the rain, it does look like temperatures will go down to around the mid-90s for Thursday. We'll start to taper off those rain chances, though. High pressure kind of stabilizes the atmosphere behind that. So what we're going to see is by Saturday, mainly dry conditions, triple-digit heat as we head into next week. That